Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick little un unboxing. Uh, received a package in the mail today from Japan, of all places. And uh, inside this box, uh, besides uh, all this Japanese newspaper, received a few handcraft or, or leather handcrafting tools that I thought I'd go over. Um, first thing uh, I got a few of these edge beveling tools. I got sizes two, three, uh, or one, two, and three, and. Uh, What's kind of cool about these uh, tools is inside the packaging there's this uh, piece of uh, it's either cloth or paper it's, a, it's an abrasive for sharpening the tool and then there's this little metal rod and uh, what you're supposed to do is wrap the uh, metal rod uh, or rather the abrasive material around the metal rod and then you uh, can put it within the, uh, the groove of the tool and you can sharpen the edges of the uh, of the beveler, which is a very handy thing. I'm I'm really happy that they included that. Keeping this these types of tools sharp is uh, isn't easy. You know they they go dull pretty quick, and uh, keeping a good edge on them is always a, a tricky thing. Up to this point, I've been using the old trusty Tandy bevelers, which work fine. But uh, I thought I'd try a, a premium brand beveler from uh, from Japan and see if if it's a lot better. With all these tools, I'll I'll use them for uh, for a couple weeks and then I might post an update, let you know how uh, if they're worth the the money or not. One note about uh, the Tandy bevelers, uh, you know they they work fine. Um, the system that I've been using up to this point for. Uh, for sharpening the tandy bevelers is using this uh, this um, beveling sharpening apparatus that you can actually buy this from Weaver Leather and uh, it's just a board with four strips of leather uh, glued into grooves in the wood and um, on this side you just take some beeswax and you run it up and down the, the two strips of leather and then you can buy uh, aluminum oxide and you can sort of sprinkle it on that edge of leather and then um, on this side you just can put some of that red um, buffing compound and rub it into the into the leather and then you can just take your tool and you kinda just get it seated down on the on the edge of the thing and you just quickly pull it back and uh, I start out with the more aggressive abrasive of the aluminum oxide and I'll I'll slide down I don't know half a dozen times or so and then I'll take it over to the red uh, compound and I'll, I'll do that a half a dozen times or so and that seems to put the edge back on it pretty nicely so that's one way to to get it done but like I said I'm, I'm pretty happy that they included this uh, in the in the packaging so uh, I'll try that and let you know how it works out. Uh, another thing that I received in the same package was this sort of little, uh, I don't even know what to call this thing. It's, uh, it's like a little pry bar, but what it's, what it's used for is if you're going to make, uh, something like a wallet, let's say, uh, let's say this piece of paper is a, is a piece of leather. And you you want you have some thin leather that you want to fold over and glue so to finish that edge. You can use this tool to sort of get yourself a straight line, you know, and and glue that down. And uh, just makes for a nice, more sort of refined, finished edge. Um, so I'm gonna have to mess around with this tool a little bit and see how it works. But there's been a couple times where I've I've been doing something like this and I don't have a tool so I'm just like uh, I don't know how to do this or just sort of winging it so I think this tool might come in handy uh, the other thing that I got is this uh, this is like a, a roller um, I do a lot of work that involves uh, laminating two pieces of leather together 
Um, I do quite a few belts, so I think this tool will come in handy for actually running along the length of a belt and making sure that those two pieces of leather are glued together properly. So give that a try. Of course you can always just take a hammer or a mallet and, uh, and make sure that your, your leathers join properly that way. Uh, but I just thought this might be a, a faster way to do the same thing. Um, I also received one of these little uh, scribing tools, I guess it's called. Um, it's sort of closed up with this little piece of plastic, but you know, it's uh, in leather work. Uh, this is a really handy tool to have. Often I'll put maybe a, let's say, a curved stitch line somewhere, and I might want to put a second stitch line, maybe four mils exactly um, from that original stitch line. And so having a tool like this, I can just set this to four millimeters apart and I can drag it along the, the curve that I'm stitching and uh, that will make for for neat work. So um, I, I have a pair of, of scribes like this, but uh, they're not very good and so I wanted to get something a little bit bigger something a little bit better so I just got it from Goods Japan and uh, the last thing that I got in the package was this uh, this tool here which I think is some sort of a, a creasing uh, tool makes a, a crease I actually decided to get this tool because I, I'm a huge fan of, of Ian Atkinson he has a uh, a store or a leather crafting business. He, he his his brand is Leotis Leather, and uh, I saw him use this tool in a couple of his projects. And uh, all it does is you just run the one edge up against uh, up against the edge of a leather, and then this second prong sort of makes a nice crease. It makes for a sort of a decorative edge, either at the top or the bottom of a of a project you're working on. And I've accomplished the same task with just a, a, a simple um, uh, stitching groove um, uh, tool, but that actually removes leather. Uh, so I thought this might be another way to do it that is uh, perhaps a little bit neater. So, and another thing that I've seen Ian Atkinson do with this tool, which looks kind of neat, is he actually will take a uh, some sort of heat, like a like a lighter or a heat gun or something, and he'll actually heat up the tips of this creasing tool and get it pretty hot, and then he'll apply it to the leather and create a crease. So, makes for a more delible impression on the leather. So I might try that. So that's everything. Um, as I said, I'll uh, I'll mess around with these. For a little bit, maybe a couple weeks, and I might post an update, let you know how they're working out for me. Uh, if you also out there have purchased some tools from Goods Japan, um, I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on on the quality of the tools, or uh, whether or not buying from Goods Japan is a uh, is a good idea. All right, well, thanks for watching. Bye bye.